What's happening, everyone? My name is Beast Streak, and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Ring Code. Now, for my last left off in the last episode, what happened was is that we went is we, uh, we teamed up with Halara with the investigation for the mailman mailman cases. And we went to the local church, which where the legend started, and we actually got some useful information from over there. Not only that, but we also started looking into the previous mailman cases, and we discovered that Halara's Forte is 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 a well as a way for her to look into the past case and see from from uh, the how it was first discovered and yeah her forte is actually really cool I mean uh, I mean a way to look at past cases and learn more about and, more, and get clues about them and. And so far, we've done we've looked into the first previous case, which was which started six months ago, which began the entire Nailman murders. And now we're at the second one, which is in this mansion. Aww. Oh, the mansions look so ritzy, Master. I bet you'll never have a chance to set foot in those inside those kind of places. No. Yeah, I know. Please don't remind me. Okay, so wait. Oh wait. Oh, this is the wrong mansion. Okay, never mind. Duh. All right. Oh, so it's this one. Okay, here we go. There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. It could be. That's probably it. Let's go inside. Okay. So how do we get in? Hmm. Closed, as expected. Yeah. Well, that's one way to do it. Are you sure? Okay. Wait. All right. So we're at the mansion. Let's see here. Okay, so there are other. Wait a minute. I just want to see if there's anything. Hmm. Are there any trophies? Not this way. Okay, never mind. So, okay, so no Shinigami trophies. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to go in. It looks like a haunted mansion. It looks like. Yeah, it does. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. Shinigami. You are literally a ghost. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? Exactly! Why do I keep saying things which are similar to which the main character, some of the characters say beforehand? That, that is really weird. The incident occurred about three months ago. Okay, so this is three months ago. The victim ago. was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. Okay. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty hmm. and dilapidated. Okay. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. If he was alone, then... Hmm. The nailman killings had another common factor, besides the locked room. And what's that, Halara? The first person to find the body was always the same person. Yeah, that's right. The, the main... The, the fan. The worshipper guy. Worshipper from church? Do you suspect him too? Maybe. What he said did make sense. Yeah. He's been obsessed with the nail man and had access to the names of potential victims. Hmm. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. That's a possibility. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. Yeah. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. Okay, on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Yeah. Ha! Think you're partners now? Just because you held hands with my master? Uh, no. I'll have you know, master and I are connected on a much deeper level. She doesn't know that. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Yeah, I mean, we had, we had a, I mean, I mean, we're trying to help out with the- Feels like a jump scare's coming up. 
Yawn. That didn't scare me. So this is the study where the crime took place. Yep. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here, too. Maybe. There's nothing left here, either. It's all cleaned up. Well, once again, we're gonna use Alara's... Well, I don't want to do it, but I suppose I can share my post-cognition again Post-cognition. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. Okay. Time for us to investigate. I wonder... Yeah, I think I think we'll... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that we'll figure out that we'll do it the same way for the next couple of chapters with the other detectives using their other court days as well. Okay, so there's a fish tank here. That's true. There are fish in the tank. It doesn't seem like they've been cared for since the owner was killed. They're looking pretty bad. Yeah. Inside the tank, some kind of secret passage? Yeah. It would be interesting. It doesn't appear to be related to the case. Unless we do... Unless we post, -co post cognition. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence. Oh, wow. As though we're awakening from an eternal slumber. Oh, wow. But the corpse will never wake up again. Sadly, yeah. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. That's very. That would be scary. I mean, that'd be that would be very horrifying to wake up like that. The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. Okay. There are no windows, and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Hmm. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Maybe. We're looking at the fish tank. For... Wait, what's that? What's with the books? Uh, There's a huge tank here, but there aren't any fish inside. Aren't any fish inside? Hmm. Living things cannot be seen through post cognition. It doesn't have that ability. Yeah, I'm, okay, so I almost forgot about that. Whoa, a lamp. And a switch? Oh! The lamp's light is pointed at, pointed at the table. It probably wasn't turned on at the time. Hmm. I don't see anything suspicious. It doesn't seem like the lamp is related to the case. What about the switch? Uh. There's a switch for the projector on this desk. It looks like it was set to off when the corpse was found. Okay, release from post cognition. Let's check out the switch. Whoa! What? Yeah. It's a lamp. The light's on right now. Say! Make sure you use proper lighting in addition to these kinds of lighting, as eye strain may occur. Who are you talking to, Shinigami? The player? I don't know. Okay, so... Hmm. Around the desk and fish tank. Wait, didn't I already do that? Oh, the projector. I almost forgot to look at that. That's right. There's a projector installed in the center of the bookcase. I like to take a look, but I can't reach it. That's right. Um, Halara, could you please take a look around the projector? Very well. Sure. Give me a moment. The projector is pretty dusty. Doesn't seem to have been used to before the incident. So it's probably got nothing to do with the case. No, unless we post cognition. Now let's check it again. The projector is installed in the center of the bookcase. It wasn't on when the corpse was found. I'm... You'll never reach it, Master! I'll check it out for you! Well, did you find anything unusual? Nope! Everything is extremely unusual and, and unrelated to the case. Okay, now, now we've got it. Okay, so we checked around there. Let's see here, check around the entrance. 
Okay, so that's the only vent. There is a vent, but it's too small for a person to fit through. Okay. And it's also screwed shut from the inside. Inside. It seems impossible to remove. Hmm. Oh, what's this now? What is it? Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the vents, like something scraped against it. Well, yeah, it looks like it. Really? Huh. But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 Xian. You're charging me for it? Really? I just. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Strings rubbing against it? Did someone hitch a string to it or something? Maybe. It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Well, oh, uh, uh, it was just a hunch. Yeah. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. You should give me 10,000 Xi'an as a reward. I don't seriously... I'm getting a headache. Poor Yuma. Okay, so the vent is too small for a person to exit or exit from, but there's evidence that a string or something similar is scraped against the gap in it. Hmm, what about the door? This is... The door to the study. We left it open just in case. Hmm. It's always good to be wary of sudden attacks. Never let your guard down. Right, got it. I'll... It's because of the teaching of yours, truly! You're welcome, master! But now, let's see what it looks like past. Okay, so the vent is already good. But the door... Huh. The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. There's only the master key. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. So no duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. Okay. And this is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. Yeah. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. Underneath the corpse? Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Yeah. Poe's cognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. Okay. I have a crime scene photo, taken back then, in my jacket pocket. Oh, that's good. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she is really good with, well, actually getting intel about all these crimes. Right. What? That's a. Huh? What's this? Why is there a picture of a? Why, why is there a picture of a cat? Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Hmm. It looks like she's a cat lover. She or that she loves. Well, she likes oh, cats. This is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. What? In the middle of his back? But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something that peacekeepers fabricated? Maybe. The peacekeepers acknowledge the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. Okay. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. Okay. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. Alright. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Oh, thank you. Was that a compliment? Looks like it. Is that really all it takes to please you? Also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Really? Remember it well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So, I see. So there's the door. That's 
So that's the door. So the body wasn't found in the center. Is that the projector? But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Actually, there, I mean, actually there were, I mean, in Danganronpa, there, we did have, I think there were a couple times we did use sketches to solve the mystery there. Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? That's surprisingly cute. Yeah, the, yeah, the kitty is really cute. The key to the mansion's study. There are no copies of this master key. And the mansion's floor plan and a photo of a log from mystery both received from Halara. Okay. So this is done. Let's see here. It can't be. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay. So check area near hallway. Let's see here. Bookshelf near the hallway. Oh, All these books are lined up so neatly. Hmm. They're covered in dust. Nobody's touched them for a long time. Meaning they won't help us with the case. Not unless we post cognition. Aha. Hurry up. Yeah. Even in the past, several books lined the shelf. I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different between then and now. I see. In that case, it's probably not related to the case. Ah, what about the doll on the wall? There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Hmm. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Yeah. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Could be. Wait. This doll has both eyes gouged out. Okay, now that's creepy. So why would the doll have both eyes gouged out? Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. Yeah. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Really? Uh, why would you want to do that? To scare people, of course. You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Really? Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. Huh. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Hmm. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. That's weird. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. Okay. It's like that darkness is staring into me. I could see that. Huh? What is it? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. It looks like a string rubbed against it. Huh. I can see that. How did this mark get here? The stall is made of resin, not porcelain. It looks like a thin string rubbed against the inner corners of the eyes. Okay. Is that... Is that where they're putting... Is that where they put the rope? I think. Check around the painting. Halara's hands are smaller and softer than I thought. I'm sorry, what? Considering Halara's strength, I thought they would be bulkier. Huh. Master, is holding hands all it takes to get you hot and heavy? You're making me sad. Well, no. No? Though I am curious, is Halara a man or a woman? What's wrong? Is something bothering you? No. Not at all. No, I was trying to get to the painting, but I think they were... I guess it'd be pretty rude to ask now. I meant to check around the painting, but I don't know why they... Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the other side. Painting. Oh! Landscape paintings and extravagant frames are on display. All these paintings look incredibly expensive. However, they're counterfeits. Not a single one is genuine. Wait, they're all counterfeits? What? Doesn't look like there's anything relevant to the case here. Let's then investigate elsewhere. Okay. Uh, it's a carefully organized bookshelf. 
Looks like all the novels belong to the same series. The Going Saga? Yeah. I believe this series has more than 150 volumes. Unfortunately, the author has passed away. And it's a shame the story never saw an ending. Okay. What does it look like in the past? Okay, so this painting itself is is was a, is a bit askew at the at the crime scene. What does that mean? I, I, I tilted. I wonder why. Could this be related to the locked room? It appears doubtful. Judging by the marks on the wall, I say this painting was hung at an angle. The peacekeepers must have altered it by mistake during their investigation. Okay. How confusing. Doll on the floor. Oh! Several dolls have been nailed to the floor. After the clock tower and the secret club, this makes three. It doesn't make any less creepy though. Beats me. Now's not the time to show fear. Investigate thoroughly and find the clues to solve this case. Oh, oh, right. I see. Dolls have nothing in common. And I don't see any usual marks e markings either. It appears. Nothing to do with the case, then. Looks like it. So after we check out the bookshelf once again, we'll check out the stacked books. Uh, series of books, but ancient anything on the shelf. No indication that books haven't moved. I don't think they're related to the case. Hmm. I agree. Let's look somewhere else. What about the stacked books here? Hmm? Two extraordinarily thick books are placed on the desk. It doesn't look like the books were stacked on the body was found. Well, the peacekeepers must have stacked them. <sighs> Good grief, what a bunch of amateurs. The placement seems to be the only thing that's changed. I don't think this will help with the case. Okay. Oh! Same thing, the books are in great condition, aside from the dust. They look extra completely untouched. Beats me. He probably wanted to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been moved for a while. They're probably not related to the case. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done with that. Sit down right here. No thanks. I think there's nothing else to do but check on the check where the corpse is. The corpse was. The corpse original location. On the corpse. That's true. This is where the first witness found the body. The bloodstains are still here. Considering the amount of blood, the victim was probably killed here, right? It appears. It seems very likely. Alright, post cognition. And yeah, still gruesome. The victim was a well built man, approximately 30 years old. Yeah. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. Yeah. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. Okay. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. Hmm. There are several reasons he behaved. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church for us. Okay. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. I wonder. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Maybe. Is that really the case? Hmm. Wait, this is odd. What is it? Hmm? Did you find something? What's odd? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Actually, yeah, now you think about it, yeah, they are. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. How hard the nails were hammered in? Okay. Well, what do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. Okay. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. Okay. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's a good question. That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. Yeah? 
The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. Really? Oh yeah. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. Hmm. That is unusual. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Huh. Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. I don't think so. That's disturbing. Yeah, it is. That's weird. The blood from the nail stuck in the upper and lower body corp seem to be flowing in different directions. Okay. And once again, we need to take a look at the victim's neck, as... He was strangled as well. The cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. Hmm. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Yeah. Oh, but on a closer look. Wait, is that a different mark? There's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. Ugh. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. It is. There are two different types of string marks in the body. Was he strangled twice? Could be. But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? That's a good question. Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. It is. So, diff two different marks. There are rope marks caused by strangulation and wounds from resisting. There are also string marks on the back of the victim's neck. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's Yay! Something left that's time. an AOK for the investigation here. I guess so. Do you have to see anything else? Locked room mysteries aren't okay. uncommon among all the unsolved cases the WDO deals with. Okay. My question to you is, why do you think culprits create these locked room mysteries? Um, my best guess is to probably... Um, um to make it look like the victims committed suicide? Well... Correct. Okay, by committing suicide. By cutting suicide. the space off on the outside, the murder is made to look as if the victim killed himself. Actually, what's interesting is that... In Danganronpa, there we did actually have one mis one locked room mystery case, and but I actually I was not, actually I was able to figure it out. However, the culprit of the nailman killings doesn't seem to care about making it appear that way. Yeah. So why make it out to be a locked room mystery? That is a good question. I believe the reason lies in the mystical nature of the nailman and how it bolsters the urban legend's legitimacy. Yeah. It's locked for the sake of self-branding, making this a rather rare case. I see self-branding. I see. Master, are you sure you get it? I do. Maybe. Yeah. All right, I think it's time for us to end the investigation here. Finished. Art gallery. Okay, so that's where we're going to be going next. The art gallery. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Oh. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? Really? What? You haven't? Hmm. There's no way to solve it with what we have. How is the room locked? Yeah. It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. I think we might have to figure that out in the mystery labyrinth. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you. It won't come cheap. Hmm. I'll figure it out myself. Yeah, I mean... I already need to give her over five it's really all about million. The money with Halara. Yeah, looks like it. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. I understand. 
Now, let us be swift. Next stop is our last crime scene. The art gallery. Wait! Here we go. Well, I hope we don't... Wait. Broken door. You know, the doorknob is in rough shape. I guess it's because nobody's looking after the police anymore. By the way... Is it because Halara smashed it? I guess we can't rule that out. Yeah. The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. I know, Halara. Right. The chief's in danger after all. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Still no trophies. Wait, what? This is Montclair Street. As you can see, it is the high class residential neighborhood. Hmm. You appear to be quite poor. Your kind don't belong here. S sorry. sorry. What a jerk! I hope serial killer goes after her next! Well, he's a bit... he is snooty. Problems? We don't see any problems here. Okay. Eternal, Detective D, Nail Man, Colon. Oh, okay, Colon. Polaris Coin, One Shen Coin, One Lance. Okay. Active in training. Alright, so let's see here. Oh yeah, we could go we could go through this way. Walk across the steps. To the art gallery. I think I already talked about these. Wait, isn't there any... isn't there any other... Hmm. Oh, here so we are. this is the art gallery. Yep. Hmm. What goes today? It's due to special circumstances. A.K.A. the Nail Man case. The murder occurred only about a month ago. So it was a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Yeah. Not that it matters to me. Wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery! And once again, she... What? Did she have to kick every Did every door something? to open it? <laughs> That's our Halara! Looks like we're waltzing the crime up... scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. One of many, many storage rooms, okay. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. I know, I know. Wait, please! Looks like we're waltzing through the art gallery. Actually, well, I, I do like to see Premier Museum in Kanai Ward, located in Gimmick District, placed in front of the art galleries to decorate with giant dinosaur fossils. And I want to see what what art they have. I mean, it'll be pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been to a museum. Locked door. Oh! Seems like this door's locked. Well? There are prizes working through the art all over the place. Of course the door's gonna be locked. What is it? Where do you think you're going? The crime scene is this way. S sorry. Right, sorry. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. Once again, she's gonna kick the door down. We're going in. Yep, she did. We're like a couple of thugs or something. Well, detectives. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Those are some cool paintings. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? Could be. As expected, it's the same worshipper. Hmm. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. Okay. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, 
they discovered the victim's corpse. Okay. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Key was found inside. Whoa! Another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. Hmm. What do you mean special? People have died. Yeah. Uh, let's start investigating. You're standing in front of it. Yes. I mean, they're, they're standing where the... All right. Next investigation. All right, let's take a look right here. Let's start with let's start with the entrance door. Hmm. There are two keys that open this door. Okay. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. Okay. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. Okay. That staff member always carried the extra key, and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Okay. Where was the key found inside usually kept? Yeah. It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Hmm, administrative office. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Maybe the latter. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. Hmm. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. Okay. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Hmm. Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? That's a good question. I guess you wouldn't. Yeah. Countered! <laughs> so it's not the member. So two keys can open the door to the art gallery storage room. At the time the body was discovered, one of them was inside the room. Okay. Oh, okay, we're at least we're good with the Unless I, I do wanna check on the post cognition. Is it just gonna be the same thing? Whoa! Oh! Postcognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. Why is there a painting in the middle of the room? There aren't any dolls around here. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. Hmm. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. Okay. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. It would be. Okay, so the entrance door was open. Hmm. Okay. Da, see. Da, 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 da. Okay. So we already did that. Oh, spill paint. Oh! Spill paint has stained on has stained the floor. If we can find out when the spill occurred, we'll know if it's related to our investigation. Right. And press post cognition. Okay, so it was spilled at the time of the discovery. I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? Maybe. If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. Okay. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. Okay. Alright. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? Hey. Be quiet. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing there. Alright, so that's done. Let's see here. Examine the shelf with the painting. Yo, check, check. That is a really cool painting. Stacked boxes. Hmm? The cardboard boxes are stacked up. Judging from the labels, the boxes were brought in after the incident. It appears. Looks like there's artwork inside. They must be storing the items no longer on exhibit. Yeah. 
I don't think these are related to the investigation. Hmm. Unless we post cognition. All looking for what? Boxes are stacked up, judging from the labels, our artwork's inside. Layer yeah. boxes so the culprit didn't touch them. I mean, they've got nothing to do with the case. Okay. Old looking portrait. Is that like an oil painting? Yeah, it looks very old. This is... It's a portrait painting with nails driven into it. Okay, so that's new. Usually the nail man would just nail dolls up, but why a painting? This picture really conveys its time period. Maybe the person depicted is an important figure from years ago. That is true. I mean, a lot of important historical figures have been, um, have, have gotten artworks of them. Uh, what? Huh? There's nothing dignified about this guy. He just looks like a regular old geezer. Hey, excuse me, Shinigami. There's a lot of famous people who were, you know. Okay. So it doesn't look... I'm trying. Oh, hmm. So there's another painting there. Okay, so there's really nothing here. Let's see here. I want to see if there's anything around. Not here. A small. Okay, so there's only a small window. Doesn't look like anyone can fit in there. The only way in or out of here, besides the door, is this window. Yeah. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Yeah. Currently, it opens outwards slightly, but... Only slightly. There are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. Yeah. Just like it. Anything else? No? Then let's try post-cognition. A small window painted of a young man. This is... Nails are driven into this painting of a young man. I'm... Oh, I know this. He's one of those edge lord protagonists everyone loves for no reason. That's not really the impression I get. Okay. Ah, here we go. Large landscape painting. Okay, so there's one doll. On this is... It's a large thing that painted with the doll nailed to it. Hmm. I wonder how this ended up on the floor. Is there a reason? That's... If it's related to the incident, there's probably a reason. Let's assume that much. Okay. What about this one? Well, so the doll here is... A large painting lies on the floor, and a doll is nailed against the canvas. Yeah, it looks like this is the only doll which we, which we see in the past. One nail goes through the head, another nail is in the chest. Yeah. But the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Huh. Did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? Huh. If that's the case, how did they lock the room? Well, the key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Oh yeah, that's right. I can see that. That's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. Maybe. And I need to find out what that trick is. Right. A doll nailed to a cloth canvas. A key to the room is also nailed on. Hmm. That's definitely important. It almost looked like... That's done. Ah! What the? Sculpture covered with cloth. Oh! A sculpture with a sheet placed over it to keep dust off. It appears. Doesn't look like it's been moved for a long time. Yeah, you can tell from the dust that's gathered on the sheet, too. In other words, it's completely irrelevant! Yep. What about the stacked baskets? There are baskets on top of the shelf. I'm not tall enough to see them inside, though. I'll, I'll take a look for you. 
This is... What is it? We accomplished nothing. So you found nothing. Looks like it. What about post-cognition? Does it look anything different? Okay, so the baskets and the sculpture are the same. Oh! Nothing inside but dust. Basically, it's underlayed. Seriously, why all the paintings when there should be oh. dolls? I see. Overall, the shape of the sheet has also unchanged. We can assume nobody's moved in. Sculpture unrelated. Huh. There's a nail stuck in the painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Yeah. Why is there such a fixation on the dolls? That's a good question. The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Yeah. Hmm. What is it, Halara? A nail driven to the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. Yeah. Looks like there's nothing else here. Now it's finally... Wait. Oh! Oh, it's here. Well, that's cool. I think that painting is similar to the... The Screamy Man. Ah! This is... A paint of a man screaming with his hands clutching his face. There's something unnerving about this painting. I almost feel as if it's gonna swallow me whole. That's... Paintings don't have that kind of power. More importantly, did you find anything? Uh, no, nothing suspicious. It doesn't look like it's related to the case. Blank canvas? The uh... canvas is placed here is completely blank. I wonder why it's blank. Why is it so messily placed with these wooden frames? Well, it doesn't look like an exhi exhibition piece. Maybe it was used for some other event. Hmm, I see. Nothing seems to be out of place. I don't think this will help with the case. What about post-cognition? Yeah. Okay, blank canvas. Nothing seems to be changed from now and then. Mm. Evidence. Look, it's a screaming man picture. It was nailed to the wall as well. So, okay, so nothing here. But now, let's take a look at the corpse's original location. Hmm. Oh! It seems like this is where the body was at the time of the incident. But there's no trace of it anymore, though. It's me. Looks like the area's been cleaned up. Probably by the key peacekeepers of the art gallery staff. I don't think investigating here will turn up any useful information. Nope. Time for us to post cognition. Oh, the corpse of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. The victim's name is Iso Moe. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. Hmm. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. Yeah. Okay. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Looks like him. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... Yeah, that's right. Usually the marks, there'd be some marks here. You noticed as well. What is it? Yeah, there's a wound on the back oh. of her head. It looks pretty deep. So she was hit on the back of, she's pro, she, sh hmm. I think what would hap what happened was, is that she was hit on the back of the head first to, you know, probably either knocked out or killed. Then she was strangled and then nailed. This may be the real cause of death. Yeah. I think this is the only one which we've seen someone get killed well, from the blow to the head. Like the other victims, there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resistance, and signs of a blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Okay. 
it doesn't look like there's anything else. Is that it? That should be enough. I'm finished investigating here. I feel like the full picture is starting to come together. I'm gonna have one more conversation with Halara. By, By the, the way, way Halara. Oh, okay. I will not accept any requests to reduce your fee. I don't think that's it. That's not what I was going to ask. About your postcognition. What were you able to see before you specialized it as your forte for investigating oh. crime scenes? That's actually a really good question. What is the point of this question? Just wondering. Well, I was wondering if you could use your ability to look at my past. Oh yeah. You want to see your lost memories like that? That's against the rules. No fair! The fact of the matter is, even if I could see your past, the information would not be of any use to you. Dang it. Huh? Why is that? Yeah. Psychometry doesn't allow me to pick and choose what to perceive. Rather, I can only see fragments flash by. Okay. I cannot consciously access desired information. Okay. It's why I trained at the WDO to develop it into a forte specialized for investigations. Oh, oh okay. Any piece of information would be valuable to me. If I can get even a little piece of my memory. If you insist, I'll consider it once this investigation is done. How about 100,000 Xian per use? 100,000? Let's discuss it later. Yeah. That sounded cheap to me somehow. My sense of money is getting all messed up. Yeah. Well done, Elara! <laughs> Even Shinigami's glad. Alright, looks like it's time for us to end this investigation. I don't know how much time we have left. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. Okay. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. I... Hmm. Outside the window? All right. Okay. I don't know if that's a... I mean, is it a good idea for you to stay here? I mean, what if the peacekeepers catch you? Very well. It would be best to check outside the window. Go ahead, I'll stay here. Okay, so how do we do that? It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself, huh? Well, we did and accept the case. And my master does everything he's told, like a good little underling detective. Halara is right. This is something I took on myself. Right. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. True. That's why I have to do it. Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Mm. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Yeah. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. It's why you're so deep in debt. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, if you, if you become way too nice for people, they can take advantage of, of, of you for that. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? Not yet! Oh, right! I'll do it right away! Outside like the window? Could that have anything to do with the locked room? It, well, it has to. Okay, so we're going to the... Art... The art gallery... Night Owl? Oh, Yakko's lifestyle. He typically sleeps in until noon, even when there's work to be done. His nocturnal lifestyle, lifestyle was the norm until... Okay, that's what the is. I wonder what Halara discovered. I actually would like to know you about know, that as well. I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I... I see. Wait, what? Here's the window. Yeah. Well, see anything strange? I don't know. No, nothing strange about it. 
I see. Try entering through the window. What? What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Yeah. Just try it. All right. Okay. I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. Ouch. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. Hmm. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. What? Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if the nail man had accomplices? No, not at all. What's that about? A hinge window used for ventilation. It opens outward, but the gap is only about five centimeters wide. Uh-oh. Something bad. Yep. Who's that? Uh, Yuma. Yuma, behind you. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, wait. Shady. Yeah. I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait, I'm. Crap. I, I'm a peacekeeper. I'm a peacekeeper. What? Huh? Obama Tarasu Corporation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm new. Y yes, Obama Tarasu. You totally fumbled that. You're no good at lying, huh? Oh no. What did you say? Um. Oh, thank goodness. We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must know who they're from. Thank you, Halara. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Alara, are you sure it's okay to lie like that? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. Okay. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Could you? Oh, that would be me. Oh, you. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then I have no choice. Okay. I'll leave the rest up to you. Me? Uh, sure. Okay. Alright, so actually this will be a good stopping point right here. That's gonna be all the time I have to take for this video. Alright, so, we, so we've investigated the rest of the other... Well crime scenes for but yeah I wonder if the nail man the the real nail man suspect could have accomplices what if that's it what if it what if, what if it's possible well for now it, it's probably just a theory but it is a possibility that the nail man could have could have an accomplice to help him out hmm but once again, we we don't know for sure. Once again, it's just theory. But well, but we'll ask this the the art staff member of what the crime scene looked like in well when when he saw it in the next episode, and probably in the next episode we'll be going back into the mystery labyrinth. What? We'll just have to wait and see. So stay tuned for more Master Detective Archives Rain Code. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other Let's Plays where I do all kinds of gaming content including 2D games, side-scrolling games, action-adventure games, racing games, fighting games, horror games, visual novel games, and many other games. And also check out my other content where I do reviews, discussions, reactions, top 10s, voice impressions, challenges, and theories. And if this is the type of content you're enjoying watching and want to keep updated for all the latest videos, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell on. So once again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Street out.